A disclaimer before we begin. There are a lot of routers out there, and mine will probably be different to yours. So keep that in mind. Thank you. Okay, first off we're going to do is go over to your start menu and type in cmd to open the command prompt. Once you've done the command prompt, go to ipconfig and look for your IP4 address and your default gateway. Then, on your web browser, it can be Google Internet Explorer. I'll be using Google Chrome in this example. You want to type in your default gateway into the search bar, which, since I've been doing it plenty of times, pops up for me regularly. Now, depending on which router you have, now I'm not talking about your ISP, your internet provider, I'm talking about the router that the company has, what your ISP has sent you, what company has made. So you could go across and look at your router to see what who actually made the router. But for my case, I can go to event settings and see what's made by Sagecom and the model of the router made. Now, from this point, you probably have a very different router from what I have, or an ISP as well. So I would recommend going to portforward.com and these can show you how to port all the recent games and more. And you can also pick from there all the routers in the video. Yeah. If you can't find it there, just do a quick Google search and hopefully you'll be able to find it. Now in this scenario, you want to go to event setup, NAT. Then you'll see on the port forwarding page, go to add, custom service, or select one of the services provided. Type in your name. This is more an identifier for you. So I'm going to say test your server IP address, which can be found in your IP4. In this case, it will be 10. And for your extern external ports and your ports. So what you want to do is Google, let's say, let's say Minecraft. for the ports. Now as you can see it's port 25565. So we'll type in that. And as you can see you can set a protocol option to both. So in this case, we'll put the protocol to CTP and UTP. Once you've done that, click Apply and Save. And you should be able to get the port working. If you do have any trouble, I'll attempt to help, hopefully. So thank you for watching, and I wish you the best. Ta-ra!